Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And this is kind of a, a big deal. Something very interesting happened today. Indiana Jones 5 is being delayed by a year. Yeah. A year. Yeah, and so, and so are Marvel films, but not, not a year. Not like that. So we have to wonder what the hell is going on. Uh, you know, I'm sitting here, we're talking and we're like, do they know that the uh, the rumors, the time travel rumors, um, the rumors that Phoebe Waller Bridge's character is is basically going to replace Indiana Jones, that they have been so disastrous, that the reaction has been so disastrous that Disney has decided to just reshoot a bunch of this movie. It could be that. It could be something to do with the contract negotiations going on. It could be. There's so many things it could be. But before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 237,000 subs. Uh, thank you for the support. Yeah, before we get into the Indiana Jones thing, uh, Marvel has also pushed back its entire slate. Now, in this case, we're talking a couple of months for each movie. Yeah, let's talk about let's talk about this first. I'm good, Indiana Jones. So they announced a bunch of, of shifts today. Yeah. Uh, among it were Marvel and then the Indiana Jones. Here's what they changed it to. Now. All these movies are getting pushed back between two and five months. Doctor Strange is getting pushed back from March 25th to May 6th. Thor Love and Thunder was May 6th. Now it's going to the 7th. See, they're all basically going to the... Shifting them to one. The, yeah, yeah, to the 7 8, which would have been Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which is now moving to 11 11, which would have been The Marvels, which is now moving to February 23rd. 23 ant-man's slot which was that february 17th slot is now you know july 28th and then the untitled marvel movies are shifting as well so they basically just took a slot that the next one was in and just moved it back to that slot um that's not a big deal but what's a big deal is indiana jones got moved back like a whole year yeah and this is i mean this movie is freaking cursed and, uh, you know, now we're going to get into some of the rumors around the movie. Some of them, I think, have been confirmed. So if you don't want any additional spoilers, now's the time to, to tune out. But I, I do think it's a safe bet that the rumored plot of this movie is is going to be pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be pretty bad. Um, now, about being said, it could also be a couple other reasons we're seeing this. We could see a shift because, uh, you know, there could be something going on with the box offices. You know, they're worried yeah. about, so they're trying to shove everything back one slot because something with the box office is coming. It could be, you know, because of COVID or whatever. It could be because something with China. It could be because the uh, negotiations that they just reached a, an agreement with the IATC, um about, you know, the working conditions and more yeah. more off time and things like that. So they might have to, you know, allow for longer times to get things done. I okay, I, I believe that with Marvel. I think I think the the working conditions either, you know, this was an, an anticipation of a possible strike or the fact that they would have to allow workers more time to work on movies. I think that explains Marvel. I don't think pushing Indiana Jones back a whole damn year is because of that. It's not even pushed back how many times now? It's Yeah, this is like, what, the third time they pushed it back? I mean, Harrison Ford was injured. Then we had a bunch of people slipping around in diarrhea and all this other crazy... They weren't slipping around in diarrhea. They had diarrhea. You can't <laughs> be doing that. People are going to be like, oh my God, did you hear about all of the no, slipping it, in diarrhea? It, no, everybody got, got norovirus. They got norovirus, which, no, which is terrible. stepping in it. Uh, well, yeah. Disney steps in it all the time, but that's another story. I think Disney did step in. I think the script got leaked. This is the theory. This is the theory. Okay. I think the script got leaked. It's turning out that a lot of those leaks are true. The reaction to the rumors are terrible. And they're like, oh my God, we cannot have another Last Jedi. Well, it sounds like they're going very Last Jedi with it because the room, well, some of it's confirmed. The time travel's basically been confirmed. The time travel has absolutely been confirmed. Now, let's back this up a little bit. I've done a couple of videos on it. Um, you were you were in one of them. I did another one. Uh the rumor, the rumored plot is that Stonehenge is a time travel portal, that there's going to be a lot of time travel and people now this uh, originally was leaked, I think on, I want to say Reddit or something. And then Doomcock got some additional information and uh, his source said that it, it's worse than just time travel. 
that by the end of the movie, Indiana Jones is basically written out of history and Phoebe Waller-Bridge gets the fedora, gets the name, just like Ray Skywalker. Yeah, it, 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 yeah again, pointing out Phoebe Waller-Bridge is the, the brain trust behind the James Bond move where James Bond is now dead. Yeah. And, and the fans are really pissed off and it's not doing well. Um, same person. Um, now... If this is true, it's not going to go well because people people understand that Harrison Ford is seventy nine. Okay, people understand that you he probably can't do more Indiana Jones films. Most people think they should just stop making them entirely, which is what yeah. I think. But Disney paid a lot of money, and they're going to milk this thing harder than the guests in the park. Um, they um, are not going to let it just sit there. And the the wise choice would be like, okay, we're going to pass the torch. It could be someone tied to Indiana Jones. Or we go back and do him as a younger <laughs> character. Uh, wait, what's so funny? We're going to go back and do him. That's right. We're going to go back and do him. As a younger, you know, somebody, a different actor, maybe as a younger person. Those make the most sense. Um, so people aren't that upset about that. They understand that. But they're not going to like it if it's true. And again, rumor. And hopefully it's not true. Their plan is to go back and basically undo uh, Harrison Ford's Indiana Jones completely. That yeah. now we got the new woman doing everything and it's Indiana Jones and it's a she. That would be absolutely stupid. Um, And they would absolutely go there because we, we've seen this time and time and time again that, you know, uh, male hero characters aren't the heroes because you know they, they've gone through the experience, or whatever they are, they are uh, mantles to be passed on to somebody well, else. Disney has got all that backlash over Star Wars, and it took a lot of shit to undo it, and it still hasn't been undone for a lot of people like you. Um, they want money so bad, and they're all about financial gain. Why the hell would they make this choice? It doesn't even make sense. Uh, the only thing I can think is this was probably greenlit age because we know this movie's been delayed multiple times and I have to wonder if it wasn't greenlit you know several years ago that at that point in time you know it was like oh it's cool to just yeah we're just gonna bring a woman in to replace well, India and it's then, all gonna be fine since then they learned was Star Wars didn't work out well nope uh, since then, they've seen what happened with James Bond. Yep. Um, and now the backlash is that rumor. So if, and that's a big if, I mean, that's a really big if, if that's the issue and that's why they're redoing it for a year, pushing it back for a year, that could explain, that's enough time to reshoot a whole movie. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think, I don't think they're going to reshoot the whole movie, but I could see them reshooting the ending. So Indiana Jones is not wiped from existence. Well, how can you? No, you can't. If she's, if it's true that she's going back in time and I have to redo everything he did, that's more than just the ending. Yeah. Well, again, we're talking a year. I mean, this is look. They shifted movies almost a year because of the pandemic. This movie is in production right now. It's had nonstop problems, problems with the script, and now these rumors. I mean, this. What are the chances of this happening a week or two after? All the media gets a hold of time travel photos. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, my God, those horrible fucking rumors are true. No, I mean, I do think it's the uh, it's likely the Marvel and stuff being pushed back. I think a lot of it could be the IOTC negotiations. Um, but why are you pushing this back an entire a year. year? Unless like you're like, oh, they're going to argue we didn't have time on the slate now. No, but no, I no. Don't, they'll, they'll say that. I don't buy that. I think they're reshooting a lot of this movie. Again, personal opinion, can't prove it. The Marvel stuff's only getting pushed back a couple of months, and not all those movies are in the can either. This thing, I think they're reshooting a good chunk well, of it. Well, side, side note, as as a woman, one thing that's making me a little bit pissed off, I got to tell you, is we got Ray Skywalker, and she just, oh, I'm just a Skywalker now, and I just don't have to do have any challenges, and I get the mantle. And then you have, you know, the, the James Bond situation. Well, 007, is an, you know, you're just assigned that, and anybody could be James Bond. And now we have the Indiana Jones rumor, if true. As a woman, I'm kind of a pissed because I'm tired of being basically told that you could just come in and usurp something and get it handed to you just because you have boobs um, and not because you actually earn something. Because to me, that's kind of disrespectful. It's like women can only have this if, if they just take it, you know, or they, I'm just going to tell you, you little piss ant dude, that it's mine now. And that just, one, it makes women look like bitches. Um, two, that, that's not a strong female character at all. And it's kind of insulting and like a pat pat on the head. Like, that's okay. We'll make them all women now to make you happy. And it's actually kind of the antithesis of what like, they're, they're, they, they say they want to accomplish. It's like you can't originate anything. You have patronizing. To, yeah. Well, it's patriarchal because the, the man has to originate the mantle. Yes. And you just come in and get the leftovers when they're done with it. 
when they've either decided these characters, you know, the actors have aged out or, or the franchise is waning or whatever, when there's nothing left to do, you can have the man's leftover mantle. And it, it just feels forced, too, because now just because now these women are coming in to be in charge. And now the women are coming in and being put in charge, um, but they're doing it in such a way that it, it, it aggravates the fans. And that's fans of all genders um, and, and stuff. And now there are people are going to associate negativity towards these female-like characters. And then it's going to be like years from now, they're going to look back on it and they're going to be like, oh, women tried to lead and they couldn't. And it's like, that's not the case. It's just that instead of giving them new things or new characters or whatever, um, you did give them kind of a new character, but you used that to just go and usurp the other character. And you yeah. basically you just, you know, did a lot of dirty shit to male characters to, to falsely elevate the female character. They didn't actually earn it. And that's... It's a problem. Weirdly enough, Disney optioned uh, the graphic novel series Delilah Dirk. Mm -hmm. We've talked um, about this before, but yeah. Five or six years ago, and I remember the creator on uh, Twitter being very, very excited that his graphic novel series had been optioned. And uh, we were, you know, having well, been down that road ourselves, we we're like, yeah, don't get too excited. Yet. Delilah Dirk is like a female version of Indiana Jones. Exactly. But she was actually her own thing and she was yes. cool. And, and, and it was a pretty, really, it was a, actually a pretty good comic. It was a very well drawn comic. Um, yeah. And it was its own thing. And now Disney had the option for that. They could have gone and stopped making Indiana Jones, the current, and done Delilah Dirk and maybe back to Indiana Jones. Or maybe Delilah Dirk is what took over from Indiana Jones. Who knows? They could have done that. Uh, instead, we're just going to, we're going to supposedly, allegedly rumored, uh, is a rumor. We're going to, we're going to, uh, ditch Indiana Jones and bring this new character in as another Indiana Jones. But the reason we, we said that they probably optioned Delilah Dirk is they had plans to have a female Indiana Jones or, uh, you know, character in that universe. Even back then they optioned it to take it off the table because they didn't want another studio doing a female Indiana Jones character, mm -hmm. you know, and Disney does that. They've optioned things. Before. Studios in general do that. They do it. They will option things not because they actually plan to make a movie out of it or a TV show. They'll option it to take it out of play, tie it up for five or ten years so they can go do whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, there were other options. They could have, you know, hey, Delilah Dirk come into uh, Disney Plus. Um, we don't touch Indiana Jones because Indi Indiana Jones has been touched enough. <laughs> yeah, trust. Uh, well, that's problematic. Yeah, Same is. with James Bond. Been touched enough. That's also problematic. Won't stop touching him until he's dead. That's right. Now now that he's gone, now they can just touch all the women. The women can touch each other. <laughs> um, problem <laughs> solved. And you laugh, but it's what's going on. Um, uh, I don't know what's going on here. All I know, well, all we can confirm is that time travel is is apparently in the next film uh, for Dan Jones. Disney has just... Push back all the Marvel movies by a few months and then push Indiana Jones back by a year. Um, it's a huge shift. Like all the releases are getting shifted back a few, several months. It could be tied to COVID. You know, maybe they're worried that the ad with the with new mandates coming through that we don't know about yet. Uh, that, you know, they're going to shut theaters down again or that, you know, people aren't they're afraid people aren't going to go for some reason because rates are going up. Who the hell knows? It's, you know, this movie is a dumpster fire. I mean, this this is a very, I mean, this movie is cursed. It, it cannot take another delay. I know that much. Nobody get and, and the more that leaks out about it, and these are verified set photos, you know, time travel and shit, the more that leaks out about this movie, the less excited, right. more angry people are getting. This is a movie they need to get out sooner rather than later if they want to make money on it, if they're not yeah. planning on changing anything about it. Yeah, by the time it comes out, people are going to be like, one, I thought this movie already came out already, and two... Fuck this movie because this is the one where Indiana Jones goes back in time and they kill him. Well, here's my thing too. I'm like, are they waiting for Harrison Ford to die or something before they release this film so that you know? Well, we had to. I yeah. don't know. It's just it, this whole thing is just a cluster. Uh, and, and Indiana Jones in general, this movie has had so many issues. It has been delayed so many times. It is just the the good Lord is telling you. Not to make Indiana Jones 5. The mm -hmm. universe is telling you not to make Indiana and Jones 5. the fans five. would have told you not to make Indiana Jones 5. Um, De just delay it, delay it, delay it until Kathleen Kennedy's gone and then it just whoopsie doopsie under the rug. Put it on Disney Plus. <laughs> Direct know? a video. Something. I just, I don't think this is going to go the way they think it is. And that's oh, maybe what they're worried about. We God. don't know. All I can tell you for sure is that Marvel has been delayed. Their, their slate's been delayed by a couple months. Basically, yeah. each film is getting pushed back to the the next film's time slot, mm. um, putting everything back several months. Um, but Indiana Jones is like a whole year. Yeah, it's a mess. We're going to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.